What is up guys? It's your boy Obble Dude and today we're going to be doing a 50 ped hunting run um, at the same location I was at a couple of videos ago at Camp Caravan I think it is and last uh, video here wasn't that great. Um, we took like about a 3 ped loss I think last time I remember um, and I think I kind of know why I was taking losses mainly because I was using the Cochrane LP9 and I think the LP7 is a little bit of a better choice and I've also noticed since I switched to it I've been getting a lot better loot but there have been some runs here that I've done where I've lost a little gained a little lost a little gained a little with um, the LP9 but since switching to the LP7 I've been losing a lot less um, but we're gonna be doing a 50 ped run so I'm gonna convert this shrapnel to ammo boom and then yeah so we're gonna do this run and uh, the main reason why I'm back here again is um, <clears throat> in my last video I said that you know I got like a nine ped loot um, like my first mob here and I was like I don't want to leave I feel like something good will happen and last weekend I got about almost a hundred ped worth of globals this weekend and yeah globals multiple um whoa 11 i don't know i don't want to start off with an, with an 11 um i'm gonna try to find something a little bit better here and the nice thing about the lp um seven as well is that it only does like three less damage than the other one i was using so that's pretty good but I got two globals this weekend. The first global I got was like a mini global, sort of. It was like 23 ped, so that wasn't bad. I made a profit on that run. And then the second global was a 72 ped global, which that was pretty sick. Um, and I got both those globals here at this location. So I've been hunting this out like crazy since then. Oh, yeah, I forgot my thing was... uh was dead I totally forgot but yeah so I made a pretty decent profit here um, I'd say at least a 50 ped uh, profit I've made at this location so far based on getting back some of my winnings and you know what I've put into things uh, at the in the beginning in the first place um, I've made about a 50 ped profit here so far between those two globals alone so this locations pretty sweet but I'm gonna go heal up my healer real quick uh, which is kind of funny but I forgot to heal it so I'm gonna heal that real quick and then we're gonna uh, continue on this hunt alright so we're back the healer is all healed up and we're ready to go um, I've, I've just been trying to stay here for a little bit do some uh, more hunting here for a little bit uh, just because of those two globals because so far between those two globals um, after counting you know my minimal losses on a few runs and stuff I'm still up like 50 peds so you know I want to see if it remains profitable and when I got that global it was a three-part global right so the ped that I just converted into ammo I'm using that um, for this hunt right now so I got that in the global and then I got a 16 ped like teleport chip and then I got um, like a five something ped um it almost looks like a board or something but i'm not really sure what it is but it ended up being 72 ped so it was pretty sick oh snap there he is came out of nowhere didn't realize he was there the infamous a tracks just coming out of nowhere but i got him so i can heal a little bit not much loot on that guy hopefully this guy since he's since he's got magical powers hopefully he'll have better loot because he just appeared out of nowhere I swear like I swear he ran up to where there like wasn't a dot before my phone's just been going off the hook today and my nose has been so itchy I don't know why why is my nose so itchy should I answer my phone and ask that person why my nose is so itchy? Uh, itch.
Like, it looks like I'm picking it, but I'm not. Nice. Almost one pet on that one. Oof. Getting wrecked here. Getting wrecked. Super wrecked. Gotta stay on to Oh, Wits is gonna lose here. He's gonna die. Oh, but he missed. Just luckily came back to heal up to the maximum. To then whip out his gun and kill him the rest of the way. And do fat crits. And hopefully get fat loots. And he does not get it. Nice, nice. That's what I'm looking for right here. See, this is what I'm talking about with this area. 9.49 ped of loot. Nice. What did we get for one ped? Does it have a markup or like a decent one? Ooh, decent markup. 137. Ooh. That's nice. That's nice. If I can find more of these bad Larrys. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. This is one full pet. That's sick. Plus eight pet of shrap. That's sick. We got a good hit on that one. And that is why I still can't leave this area. It may be here uh, for quite a bit longer. You know? Because the loot is not bad, I must say. Loot's been pretty good this past weekend and... Uh, I guess beginning the week now. Oh, oh, there's two of them. I didn't see that. I did not see that. I did not see that. I did not see that. Please don't attack me too. Please leave me alone. Please forget I was there. Or maybe that... Oh, no, that was a corner. Okay. I thought there was two a tracks next to each other, and I got really scared. I was like, oh, no. I'm going to have a heal fest again, and then I'm going to be sad. Oh, no, there he is. All right, so it's okay. Mindark knew I almost had him dead and I needed another mob to kill. So, you know, it's fine. It's fine. The game knew. So they were the game was just trying to help me out that time. So I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Level 10. Oh, I got the mature already coming at me. So let's do this. All right, mature. Give me something good. I feel the loot gods are with me today. I f I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the loot gods just raining their um, good luck and wisdom onto me. But I need to get prepared to heal. Because I may need to heal. If he crits me, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I got him though. Nice. Alright. Nope. The loot gods were not on me with that one. Oh, dang. I got an Atrax coming at me. At least this is just a level 6, but still, if he's dodging me enough, I'm going to I'm going to be sad. Okay, good. Still haven't taken damage, but that can change very quickly. All right, cool. No damage taken on that one. Sweetness. Very low loot from that level 6 though. Was not happy about that. I'm going to have to get that back from this Atrax or hopefully another mob around here. Because that was a really bad loot on that one. Sometimes I like the level 6s though. I killed the level 5 once and got like 3 pet out of it. So, they can be worth it. Nice, almost 1 ped from that Atrax. And that's the thing, like... I feel like the the Cornacunda mobs, I feel like they have a little bit more of like a consistent loot. Whereas like the Atraxes can like kind of go either way. Like it, it'll, it can either be good, like really good or like somewhat average or like really good. Like either really good, really bad or average. So at least that's what I've been seeing personally. But I've definitely been seeing that like the eight tracks can either be hit or miss and the other ones are kind of like more consistent. Like that one was pretty decent. Over one ped right there. I'm liking that loot. That's the loot we need to be getting. 
And these are two A tracks, so I'm gonna have to pull carefully. It looks like one's running away though, which is good. It's going the other way, so did not pull him. Happy about that. Can't wait to be a little bit better so I can pull like multiple mobs around this area. I was getting so skilled to the point where like when I was at um Orthos West Mountain, I was taking out the level five Murps. I was getting to a point where I would like literally have like three of them all around me just like trying to attack me and I was just surviving and I was just picking each one off one by one. It was crazy. It'd be sick if I could I could do that here, especially since um the eight tracks is have such a short range. And a lot of the mobs are kind of grouped up together around here too. So sometimes it's hard to not pull more than one mob to you. So those are kind of the downsides, but it's also good because there's plenty of mobs and seems to be plenty of loot as well. So I've also been doing a lot of mining lately. A lot more than I should have. Um, well, should be. And kind of been down in the hole on that a little bit um in my past five mining runs i did uh each of them being 50 ped uh mining runs i've literally only profited off one mining run and that was like 12 ped and then all my losses have been pretty much like 10 ped so i've been taking some pretty heavy losses from mining uh, but I've been getting some pretty decent wins from hunting, so hunting's been good. So I'm definitely trying to focus more on that and put the majority of my money into that. But since I've been skilling up my mining and, you know, getting better at that, I've been having more fun with it and, you know, doing things I haven't done. So it's been fun, but it's also been a heavy price to pay. But I'm going full in on this uh, hunting thing pretty much so I can try to get some of that back as well. And yeah, but the mining has not been doing well. So I'm probably going to be focusing more on the hunting for the most part. So I think, the, I think uh, there's going to be more hunting videos coming out than mining videos, uh, at least for now, for a little while till I get some funds back up. But if my hunting runs keep going the way they have been, who knows, we might be able to stick in a mining run here and there. Stupid guardian, didn't even know he got shot. I shot his ass and then I stepped back and he's like, what, what happened? And then I was like, god damn, I gotta shoot him again. And then I had to go forward. Oh no, but now he's wrecking me. He wasn't happy that I made him look dumb. But will I kill him, will he kill me? That's the ultimate question. And it is me. Man beats beast every time. Nice, nice. One and a half pet again. See, and since I've switched to the um, to the LP uh, seven instead of the nine, I've also noticed that I've been getting a lot more like one and a half one ped loots. And before it was a lot more like fifty to eighty, and then sometimes like two or three or over a ped but i feel like i get those one and a half ped um loots a lot more often now since switching which is kind of weird too i'm like spending less and getting more at the same time like per stack almost or at least it seems that way but maybe i just didn't you know know the loot or the area well enough um when i was using the other gun yeah that's the one weird thing about this update though like with like the lock feature with the camera and stuff like when you're like auto aiming and stuff it's kind of weird to like try and get the like you can't really get the camera to move so it just looks weird and you don't really know what's happening or can't really see much i don't know if there's a way to move the camera while you're in auto lock unless you just have to go out of it and then you know then you can get out of that view but then you go right back into it if you want to shoot again or auto shoot again so I don't know maybe just in that situation just don't auto shoot and then just auto shoot once it gets to you guessing that's probably the only solution but yeah it's just kind of annoying sometimes because I just like the auto one because I just like to kind of sit back and let the, the game kind of do its own thing because it's like it's already a grind enough so it's like why should I put in more work to fire every single shot you know the way I see it at least anyway. Dude this loner guy, he's gotta have the best loot. 
It's not exactly a loner, but we're going to try to not pull the A tracks. Nice. And then we'll go for him. Because they're both kind of loners of their own groups. So they might have what I'm looking for. Listen, just give me your loot and we don't have to do it like this, bro. You don't have to die, just give me your loot. Imagine that. Imagine if, like, you could somehow just, like, extract loot from the mobs. Like, not sweating, but, like, legit just, like, somehow get the loot without having to kill them. So, like, settle a deal. Yo, give me that loot and you won't die. That'd be weird. I don't think it'd work. It'd be a mess. It's better to just kill him. Just kill him for that loot. Whoa! Let's go. Sorry, guys. I kind of screamed in your ear. But this is what, what I'm talking about. This area, dude. This area. 16 ped of shrapnel. Not a global. Not a global. Well, I don't know. It depends on what a global is these days, really. I mean, if you think about it. I mean, I always saw a global as 50 ped or more. However, I'm getting swirlies, like, when I'm getting 23 ped or, like, the 72 ped um, global, obviously. But even when I got that, uh, that, I think it was a 15 ped global, I think, or something like that. Like, that was, like, even, like, that had the swirlies and everything, you know? Like, I think, I feel like that shrapnel loot was 16, and I think it was less than my global, uh, for, like, the video with my first global ever at the Mert place. I feel like, I feel like that was more than my global, but there was no global sound, so. I honestly don't really know what a global exactly is anymore, but whatever. I don't really care. I'm just glad I got the ped, you know what I mean? If I got a thousand ped and no swirlies, even though I doubt would ever happen, I wouldn't care. I'd be happy with the ped. <laughs> but that was sick. That was a good loot. We're definitely pulling profit after that one, I feel it. Well, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Might just be breaking even. We only got 78 shots left, so that's why I'm saying maybe, maybe not. But yeah, loot like that is what this area is capable of. And so far... The biggest global I know for a fact, because I got it, the biggest global so far around here of possibilities is 72 ped so far, so pretty decent area, I'd say. And I think this hunt's been pretty successful as well. Because this is near the end of the run and I'm feeling ballsy and confident, we're going for the level 10. Try to end this run on a good note. So I think we'll be able to kill him within 20 shots, but I'm going to die. I didn't notice my health. That's not good. Oh my God. Please miss me. Please miss me. Please miss me. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Please miss me. Please miss me. Oh my God, dude. Please miss me. Please miss me. Oh my God. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my God. He's still getting me. He's still getting me hard, dude. He's still getting me hard. I got to go hard. I got to go hard. I got to go so hard. Oh my God, dude. He's getting me. I was so close. I was so confident. Didn't realize my health was so low. Oh, just by a thread, dude. And now we're back on it. We're going to kill it. Come on. We got to kill this thing. Come on. In the next 10 shots, we got this thing dead. Come on, man. Oh, my God. He's dodging everything. One more. There we go. I didn't want to have to convert any of this shrapnel that we got from this run, but... That was a good way to end it, and I was correct. That's how many shots it took to end it, uh, which was kind of a bit, and I think we ended up taking a little bit of a loss on that last mob. But we're going to head back to the TT anyway, add everything up, and see how much we got. All right, so we're back at the trade terminal, and now we're going to see how much we made out on this run. So technically, when I converted the uh, shrapnel into universal ammo... We had 50.95 ped of ammo. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this a 51 ped run. So we're looking to get more than 51 ped here. And let's see how much we came out with. Dang. So we got 64.45 ped out of a 51 ped run. So that's a solid 13 ped uh, profit right there 
See, and these are the runs I've pretty much been seeing, like anywhere from three pad, like if I don't get a whole lot, because there was a couple of big looters in there, like, so, you know, we got a decent amount out of that. Definitely a good profitable area. Pretty excited. Wasn't so profitable on the first video, and I think the gun had a little bit to do with it. Um, plus, I think maybe I just had a bad run or something. But anyway, you guys, that's the video. That's the area. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.